Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Following are the margins of victory in the football matches of a league. Find the mode of this data. Our first step would be to rearrange this data. But since it is a huge data, so let us make a tally mark table. Our table will look something like this. One of the columns will be margins of victory. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 as the margins of victory. So the entries in this column will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now the first value is 1. So 1 bar in corresponding to margin of victory 1. Second value is 3. So a bar corresponding to column with margin of value 3. Next value is 2. So a bar in the 2's column and so on. We will complete the chart and now number of bars corresponding to margins of victory 1 are 9. In 2's column there are 14 entries. In the 3's column there are 7 entries. 4's column 5 entry. 5's column 3 entries. And 6's column only 2 entries. Clearly we can see that our mode should be 2 because maximum number of entries is corresponding to the value 2. We will say that mode for this data is 2 as 2 has occurred the highest number of times or in other words most of the matches have been won with the victory margin of 2 goals. Let us read the question. Find the mode of the numbers. Here we can see that data is already arranged and the values 2 and the value 5 are occurring maximum number of times. That is both the entries are occurring 3 times. So we can say here 2 and 5 both occur 3 times therefore both are mode of this data. We have seen that in some situations arithmetic mean is an appropriate measure of central tendency. Whereas in some other situations mode is the appropriate measure of central tendency. Let us discuss another measure of central tendency called the median and see how it will be helpful for us. Median is defined as the value which lies in the middle of the data when the data is arranged in an increasing or decreasing order. Let us consider an example. Suppose a teacher has the record of heights of 7 students. Firstly, to find the median, she will arrange it into ascending or descending order. After arranging into increasing order, our data will look like this. Now, the median will be the middle value of this data 
that would mean that 117 would be the median for this data as it lies between the whole data. Notice here the median divides the students into two equal groups of three students each. Let us also try to understand why median is required. If we had taken out the mean for the given data, if teacher had calculated mean, she would have come to the value 116.14. And if she had divided the students into two groups on the basis of this mean height, then she would have two groups, one of which would have three students while the other will have four students. Hence, mean could not serve the purpose of dividing the students into two equal groups. Let us see what about mode. For this data, each entry is occurring only once and hence each entry is a mode. So, mode cannot help us in dividing the students on the basis of their height into two equal groups. Hence we can say that median is the appropriate measure of central tendency if we have to divide the data into two equal parts. Also note that in this class we will only find median for those cases where the number of observations is odd. Let us read the question. Find the median for the data given on the screen. To find the median, firstly we will arrange the given data in ascending order. So our data becomes 17, 18, 24, 25, 35, 36 and 46. Let us count the number of observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 observations and the median will be the middle value which will divide it into two equal parts. Clearly, middle value will be 25 as it will divide it into two equal parts. And finally, we can say that 25 is the median of the given data.